Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're changing a gas valve in this master temp heater. Check it out. Okay, step one, you can see the, the gas valve and this curved tube that is the uh, return line that goes into the heater. Uh, there is a union that needs to be loosened. Normally this is pretty easy, but this one's kind of giving me fits. had to uh there's not really a lot of room to get a pipe wrench in there so i'm just using two of these uh, pairs of channel locks it was enough it's usually not real tight so pretty easy to get it loose normally it wasn't today but normally it is There we go, finally. Now also just a little note, under this union right here that I'm taking loose right now is where you'll find the orifice. So if you ever need to uh, change one from propane to natural gas, that's where that orifice is located. Just a little tip. Um, as always, you can see the gas valve is turned off for the actual gas inlet. So make sure you turn that off before attempting this. Had to get a bigger wrench here but did get it loose and now we'll pop this baby out okay this is probably one of the easiest ones to access and work on and you see the two yellow wires there that is your uh, power we'll go ahead and disconnect those here in just a minute once i get the gas pipe disconnected Sometimes it feels like a foreign car. It's kind of hard to work on these things. There's not a lot of room. Okay, got her loose. We'll pull this off now. We're just going to remove this whole gas valve out of the heater. Take the two yellow wires off. It doesn't matter which one goes to which side, so you don't really need to mark it. But always good maybe take a picture so you can see where they plug in. And this air tube will take it loose as well. Okay, now we just need to remove the old gas valve uh, from that pipe. So there's a square side on one side. It makes it real easy uh, to grab a hold of a pair of pliers. Just twist that off until you're all the way off. Okay, here's the new one. And the only thing you have to do to the new one to make it ready is, you see that little brass 90, the little nipple there where the air tube connects, this piece here, we'll have to put it on the new gas valve and then make sure to flip the switch to on. There's a little toggle switch on top of the gas valve, on off, just make sure you're switched into the on position. This one actually came with Teflon tape already on it, so super easy. Just screw it in there and get it tight. And be sure to use thread sealant on this. Would hate for gas to be leaking inside the heater and it go kaboom. Be a bad day. Just a note, make sure that the sealer that you're using, the thread sealer, is safe for gas. Some of them are water pipe only. Just make sure you got one that's good for gas. Just tighten it up, get it in the right position. Should be pretty much straight up and down. Okay, now we're gonna put her back together. Basically just gonna do 
what we did to undo it, just kind of in that reverse order. One thing to keep in mind on this master temp, there is a little cover or like a dust cover that goes over the inlet pipe uh, to keep the mice out. So as you're putting it back together, just make sure that goes in. You can kind of see it right there on the pipe, just past the 90 there, it looks like a little collar. Yeah, it's hard to see in the picture. It's right next to the 90, but it'll slide up all the way to the edge. It, it does help keep the mice out of this particular heater. They're bad if you live out in the country. Just getting things lined up. You can see the orifice in that picture just beyond the air tube right there where my hand is. That's the orifice we were talking about earlier. trying to get the pipes lined up so everything's where it needs to be. A little fine tuning here at the end. Yeah, funny story on this particular gas valve. I took it out because it, uh, I put the meter on it, made sure that there was appropriate pressure on the inlet side. And then when we turned the gas, the, turned the heater on, the gas valve never opened. So it appeared to be that the gas valve was the problem. It had power, there was gas on the pressure side, but when, you, when it engaged, it wouldn't open. Um, come to find out, there was nothing wrong with that gas valve. It was actually the inlet pressure side, the static pressure was good, but when the gas valve opened, it dropped to zero. So there was no, the actual regulator that allowed the gas to come in on the pressure side was actually bad. And I didn't find that out until after um, I'd taken the gas valve out. So what you see in this video is actually me putting their original gas valve back in um, because I took it out and it didn't work. So, but we did get the regulator fixed. That's the green thing you see there in the picture right there. Uh, this is me just testing the uh, pipes to make sure we don't have any leaks. This is just really good soapy water. I like Dawn dishwashing detergent. It bubbles up the best. Great stuff. Now you can see a little bubble right there, so we'll tighten that up. And um, then we'll test it again, make sure that there's no problems. You'll see one more little bubble there to the right, right there. So just tighten and test until you get it to where there's no bubbles, no leaks, and you'll know you've got it sealed up properly. Okay, I think we're good on this one. The only thing left to do is to test it. We'll turn it on and make sure she fires up. Turn it on. Got it on, heater's on. Set that out of the way. Okay, we're just checking the fan is blowing. Let's make sure we ignite. I'm also watching that union right there in front of the camera to make sure we don't have any leaks there because it's now feeding gas through that pipe. So if it's going to leak, it'll show up right now. We got heat. We got no bubbles. I'm going to call this one good. Just need to put her back together and be out of here. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. If you like right, it, subscribe. Job.